I'm Megan. I'm Lyra. And today we're going to do a book haul because I have way too many books. As usual. Anyway, so today I'm going to do a book haul. So there's a story behind two of these books. So I've been reading Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Really great books. And I'm on the second one. Or just finished the second one. So I really wanted to get the third book. So I asked my grandma to take me to Barnes & Noble because that's the only bookstore we have um, close by. So she's like, yeah, totally. You know, yay reading. <laughs> so we go all the way to Barnes & Noble and I asked the ladies. I like, I look everywhere for this book. First, I asked the really nice lady at the customer service counter uh, where Requiem is. They say they're sold out. She even went all the way back to the back and looked and they're sold out. So I picked up a book there and then I went to the other Barnes & Noble all the way across town. And they didn't have it either, so I ended up ordering it. So the first book I got was Divergence by Veronica Roth. I feel like I've heard of that book before. Yeah, it's going to be turned into a movie. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really excited to read this. Is it a post-apocalyptic movie? Yeah. Maybe it's maybe I was going to act it. Really? Yeah. I'm going to figure out what Why movie that was. I would say yes. So I have a life. I would have said yes in a heartbeat. Give me a roll. So, um, I know what you're all thinking if you're, like, a book lover like me. Why haven't you read this yet? Well, I've been waiting for the third one to come out. That's why. So, anyway. Uh, I'll just tell you what it's about. Basically, it's about a futuristic world where it's, like, it's set in, um, Chicago? Yeah. And basically, Chicago. there's different factions. And, um, basically, your faction is what you think, what basically made humanity fall. So there's, let's see, there is Candor, the Honest, Ab, I can't read this, Abnegation, Abnegation, the Selfless, Dauntless, the Brave, and Amity, Am Amity the Peaceful, sorry, Amity. and Edger, I can't say that one, but the Intelligent, basically. So that's what this book is about, and um, basically the girl, you get to choose once you're 16, you grow up in one of these factions and you can choose your own. Or you can go off and choose a different one. And you get a test and all this bunch of cool stuff. I'm sure you've probably heard of it. Um, but yeah, here it is. Veronica Roth. Really great books. I uh, recommend reading it for the movie. Anyway. So the next book I got, I have been dying to pick up. It is Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hawk. Hook? Hook? Colleen Hawk. Ha ha ha. <laughs> um, this is, I love this cover. I think it's really pretty. pretty cover. Yeah. Anyway, it's basically about a girl, and um, she joins the circus, like as a summer dog, because she just turned eighteen, and um, finds out that this tiger is like an old Indian prince, and goes off to um, India with him, or you know, gets a job in India. And ends up falling in love with him and trying to break this curse. That's all I know about it. She falls in love with a, with a tiger. Yeah. Okay. This next book just came out and I'm so excited about it. Marie Lu actually commented on it, which is one of my favorite authors. But um, it's taken by Bauman. Erin Bauman. Bauman. <laughs> we can't say her last name. Sorry, I just butchered that. But um, this book is basically about. Did I you say it? butchered or butchered? Butchered. I just butchered her name. Anyway, this book is another dystopian. I know, I have a problem. Basically, I keep saying that boys don't... Boys don't become bo I mean, men, basically. They get taken off when they turn 18. All of them. So there are no men in this village. Only boys. Teenage boys to, you know, babies to teenagers. So, that's pretty much all I know about you. The heist will take you. That's what says on the back, so it must be like an alien book. Um, which I'm kind of hesitant about. If you've read this, comment below. I think it's really pretty. Alright, now for the book that I actually really wanted to get on my little book scavenger hunt. Oh, there's a different bit. Anyway, Requiem by Lauren Oliver. I actually just got it today. Um, so excited. If you haven't read the series, do it. It's another dystopian. If you're kind of sick of those, this one's totally worth it. Um, so... I was, I, I'm not going to tell you about it because if you haven't read Delirium yet, then what are you doing? You need to go read it. Anyway, mm -hmm. one more book that I got, and just a little fun one, it's the Delirium Stories. It's, um, if you've read the books and you know it's Hannah, Annabelle, I'm not telling you who Annabelle is, and Raven. We're, now we're just going to tell you kind of what's coming up. 
for us, we're doing show season now, so we're going to be really busy. Um, I'm going to try to... That is horse show. Horse season. show. <laughs> um, Lyra yeah. has got work. <laughs> so she's already super busy, but um, we'll hopefully do some videos on that. Have anything to say? Uh, nope. <laughs> What's been up for you? What have I been up to? Yeah. Did you just go on vacation? Um, no, I didn't go on vacation. Oh, yes. I went to a big uh, weekend-long bonfire party. We look like a vampire. She Heart found touch. a turtle. She found a dog. And then there was a part of the tree earlier today. The dog's so cute. Her name's Cassie. Um, we thought it was like a coyote or a wolf. So, but there's no wolves around here. Then they won't know where we are. <laughs> We live in northern Idaho. There are lots of wolves. They come up to 150 plus pounds. We live in Alaska. We live in Alaska. Alaska. We have polar bears and snow foxes, and we like to eat frozen And that's why fish. there are porcupines here. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I don't think anyone would take the time. <laughs> We're idiots. I'm, I'm a blonde. <laughs> I don't, I'm like a brick house. Like a skinny brick house. Cassie, Cassie, Cassie. When I meet our, our dog. Come here, Cassie. Cassie. Oh, this is her. This is Cassie. She's wonderful. She's the sweetest dog ever. Mm. Oh, Cassie, are you tired? I'm sorry. It's like you Aww. people are keeping me up. Mm. Who would abandon this poor baby? That's the sweetest face. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Subscribe.